I'm off to a great start because I think I'm lost already. I've only been going about 30 seconds. The map says to go straight to the end of the path, but I don't know. I'm going to check out what this is first. Apparently, my next thing that I should come across is a recreation park, so let's see what's up here. Off to a good start. Well, I decided to come back and go the way I originally was heading. Um, I could have gone completely wrong already. I'm basically just going to walk down a path for the next two hours, but we'll see. Hopefully this will come to some kind of tarmac recreation park. That's what I'm looking for anyway. So I'm guessing this is the end of the path. Now it looks like I've got four options. Oh, no, I've got five. I have no idea where to go. Hi, welcome to the Global Treats page. It's been a long time since I've posted anything on here. Um, I'm coming from a random field in Herdins where I appear to be lost. I'm supposed to be doing a walk from Herdins to Ridgeway, but I ain't got a clue where I am at the minute. Um, so it's the first time I've used this camera for a while. The last time I used it, I was in um, where was I? Glasgow. Um, I spent three weeks in Scotland, and I uh, kind of vlogged everywhere I went. Um, it's the first time I'd done any vlogs, so I was just getting used to using the camera, really. Um, give you a bit of background. Uh, in October 2018, I uh, landed in Bangkok and spent a year in Southeast Asia, uh, travelling to pretty much every country in Southeast Asia, and didn't make any videos at all. And then after Southeast Asia, I spent three months in Europe, mainly around... Uh, the balance and again didn't make any videos and then I got back and thought hmm maybe I should have made some videos so uh, I bought a cam and then uh, disappeared up to Scotland for a few weeks made a, a few vlogs and the plan was I'd got flights booked to go to Romania on March the 10th and I was gonna start doing some traveling again and this time um, kind of vlog as I went uh, but obviously uh, them plan uh, never took place because of the coronavirus so uh, I've basically for the past three months been living in my parents back bedroom and going out for a walk to the local field and back and that's been about as exciting as it's been so uh, obviously nothing to vlog about but today uh, is the first day of the uh, easing of the lockdown which uh, means that you can now meet up in groups of up to six people and you can leave the house for, well, for as long as you want basically so I decided to do this walk it's a nice day so I thought I'd uh, go and do this walk it starts pretty much half an hour walk from uh, the house so it's the nearest walk to me it's quite nice uh, I don't know where I am I don't know which direction I'm going in um, but you know I can't really get lost in a place like this well, actually, you can get lost in a place like this, and that's exactly what I am. But um, you know, I've got, I have all day, so uh, the plan is to end up at some point near Ridgeway, which I think is that way. But my map reading skills tells me I need to go up there, so I've either got to go with my map reading skills or my instincts, and neither of them fill me with confidence, to be honest. So I'm sure them pylons head down to Ridgeway. I think I'm going to go that way. Yeah. 
that, that's what I'm going to do with my lip. So I think I'm back on the right track now. Um, I've just walked through a few fields. Uh, got back on the public footpath. And this has now brought me into the woods. Which is very nice. Didn't realise how much I'd missed places like this. I think if I just keep on going, follow this all the way to the end, that it should bring me out at Ridgeway. So hopefully anyway. So quiet. The only problem with uh, this walk is that I think it's going to be too short. I think I'm going to end up at Ridgeway pretty soon and then I'll be making my way back. Um, I could have really would have enjoyed this to have gone on for much longer. But I'm going to do a much longer walk on Friday. Possibly walk from Gleadless to Red Myers, which is about three hours walk and then walk back so it's a nice little taster especially since i've been doing the couch to 5k uh, couch to 10k for the past few weeks and i got up to the 5k mark and then my calf went and i've not been able to do that for two weeks so it's nice just to uh, get a bit of exercise so peaceful i worked at ridgeway school for nearly 10 years and never came down here which is crazy. I don't know where I'm supposed to go after this. Looks like there's three options. Be careful here. Yeah. Oh. Face. I'm just going to go straight on, I think. Tells me to turn right at the third style. I saw one style which was kind of wrecked, so I'm not sure if that one counts. I've just passed over another one. Uh, it's getting a bit overgrown here. Lots of things landing on my legs, which is freaking me out a bit. But that's the countryside here. Can't see any evidence of any second or third style. But we shall see. Maybe that could have supposed to have gone over that way, but I'm going to keep going. This was definitely a footpath, so not likely to get shot at. I did see some signs saying uh, no trespassing, shooting. So don't upset the uh, farmers of Ridgeway. Well, I decided that was the wrong way because uh, I didn't come across any more styles, just a, a fence. So uh, I'm going to head back to the top of the steps where I've just come from, coming out of the forest. I think I've just been nettled. And I'm going to take what it says on the map instructions, a half right, whatever that means. Yeah, definitely been nettled. See, there are people who actually know stuff about when you're walking in the countryside and they just know which leaf to pick up and rub on your leg to get rid of the nettles. But I'm not one of them people. I 
Well, there are no signs, or there weren't any signs telling me I couldn't come this way. And there does appear to be something of a public footpath. So, the last place didn't lead me to any styles. So, let's see what this place brings. There's a fence. Gotta say, the instructions on the map are pretty useless, to be honest. Now, is there a spell? Can't see one. Oh, this isn't looking good. God, that means I'm going to have to go back down that overgrown footpath again where I've just been nettled. If anybody's watching me, that'll be the third time I've walked down there. We'll be phoning police. It does say I need to head towards something called Doyland Farm, but I've just done uh, a search on Google for Doyland Farm to see from anywhere near it, but nothing came up. So. I don't think I'm supposed to go back in the forest. I think I pretty much got it right up until that point coming out of the forest because I kept coming up the steps and I said turn half right, which I never thought would have been this way, but I can't see any styles around here. Some of the styles are um, not very well maintained as well, they're very uh, wobbly. I think I need to report them to the style council. I mean, does that count as a style? I mean, it used to be. But there's no more after this, so... And it says I need to turn at the third one. But that sign suggests that that is the way to go. Right, here we go again. That's definitely a style. So that's number two. I'm pretty sure it says turn at number three, but then I couldn't find the number three. Right. Let's just have a look, see what's on the map. Go over second style, turn right at third style, and follow path along hedge line to bottom of field. Right, well, let's just see what happens again. Is, maybe a third style might miraculously appear this time. Hope you're enjoying this amazing vlog. Pretty much uh, typical for me that they, as soon as I start decide to do some vlogs on my travels, the whole world uh, enters shutdown and travel is restricted to just about everywhere. That's some pretty big lengths to stop me from becoming a vlogger. And that's not style, is it? Yeah, maybe it is. Do I go through there? Am I allowed to go through there? It doesn't say I don't go through there. And it does say a hedge. Let me see what it says. Uh, go over to that. Turn right at third style. and follow path along hedge line to bottom of field. You know what, it's open, I'm going to go for it. If I get shot, well, I'll get shot. Yeah, so these uh, vlogs which I started doing in Scotland, um, just to get used to doing it really, and then I was going to head out across Europe again. Um, wasn't sure exactly where I was going to go, starting Romania. Um, yeah. You see some vlogs and uh, they're really, really well made and fancy titles and great editing skills. Don't expect none of that on my vlogs. And then you see these people called social influencers. Um, 
God are them guys in mine. So I definitely don't expect any of that. I think I would be the uh, the opposite of that, to be honest. People would watch my vlogs um, and it would show them how not to do things. So I guess that is a social influencer, in a way. People tend to do this stuff when they're younger, don't they? And then they settle down and have a career. But I did it the opposite way around. I had a career, then I gave it up to bum around, basically. And that's what I'm going to do until I can no longer afford to do that. Once the money runs out, then uh, I guess it will be back to the mundane 9 to 5 type lifestyle. If I ever can go back to that after spending you know, 18 months travelling, interrupted by this lockdown and however long that will go on for, uh, and then I'll be back out there somewhere. Not sure where, where yet. Russia looks uh, interesting, but also it's not a place where you can just nip in. I think you have to sort out your visa well in advance. Um, I don't know. I would like to go to Georgia. I've heard that that's a really cool place. Um, Ukraine maybe, Turkey, Greece. Depends on which way I decide to go after Romania. Um, part of me is thinking that I just want to visit as many new places as possible. Um, I'd say that's my probably my uh, main plan. But there's another part of me that just wants to go back to Southeast Asia and eat Mooping and buy snacks from 7-Eleven. Yeah, I did love Southeast Asia and uh, I mean we have seen a lot of it, we were there for a year so uh, I think if I did go back it would be visiting places that were way off the tourist track uh, or the usual trail but I mean we did do that anyway, we didn't just stick to the uh, main touristy places but obviously you know you're not going to go to these places and skip the main touristy places entirely because there's a reason why a lot of people go there and that's you know because they're the you know, a lot of times they're the best things to, to go and see but it's also nice when you're traveling to uh, to just soak up the local lifestyle and not be a, a tourist there's a difference between a tourist and a travel Travellers tend to uh, soak up more of the uh, actual local uh, lifestyle, whereas tourists just go and take photos of famous buildings and monuments and things. A good balance between the two is the best thing, I think. I'm hoping that this is well, this will lead me somewhere. It's very nice out here. Nice views. Well, I got as far as Ridgeway, so uh, the path I was on ended up being the right one. And uh, I've just come up uh, the main road in Ridgeway and then turned left to start heading back the way I came from. Um, very nice. It's a really nice area. Right on my doorstep as well. Uh, so now I'm heading back up towards where I came from. Don't think it will take quite as long. I think this is just a straight walk up now, but I might be wrong. Let's see what time it is. Half past three, so I left our house at one. So I mean, that's not bad actually, two and a half hours. Doesn't seem like that at all. So, right. Well, I'm starting to go downhill now. I thought I was going to be going uphill all the way back to uh, Charnock, but maybe this walk has got some more surprises in store for me. We shall see. So that was it. Completed the walk, just coming into Charnock now. Whole walk took about two and a half hours to go from uh, Herdings through down to Ridgeway and then back up again. It was very nice, enjoyed that. I have to do more of that. So yeah, there we go.